tough loss for Houday Nation all across the country, but it hits closer to home here in Cincinnati. That's where LEX 18's Mike Valenti spent the day with fans feeling a roller coaster of emotions. Mike, how are people doing now? Yeah, Larry, Nancy, I had given some thought about what it would be like to do a live shot after a Super Bowl victory. I guess I hadn't really thought about what it'd be like standing here after a loss. It's pretty deflating. You know, the downtown Cincinnati is obviously subdued right now. It's, uh, it's a ghost town. Uh, we thought we would be here surrounded by fans uh, basking in the festivities after a historic uh, playoff run. This was supposed to be the culmination of an unlikely and remarkable season by the Bengals. And uh, they came close, but uh, obviously not close enough. We were inside a bar at E&O Kitchen across the way. And for most of the game, uh, fans were ecstatic, but you could feel that nervous energy throughout. And then it was just like someone had sucked the oxygen out of the bar when uh, the Bengals failed to convert on fourth down there and people were crying. Uh, the marketing manager at the bar was actually trying to lift spirits by starting a Who Day chant, and uh, people weren't having it. We did run into some people who were talking about hoping this was the start of a, of a new chapter. If you're as sad as I am, never lose hope. That was my main weapon this whole season. Hope, belief, and prayer. Who Day, but Who Day? we did our best, we played well. It was a good game. Trust me, we got two, three years of this team right now. It's going to be awesome. I'll yeah. tell you right now, we're going to be back here. I do hear one Houday chant across the way. A couple people look like they're coming home from a watch party. There they go. So uh, clearly some uh, fans, hopefully most, are, are keeping the faith uh, here in downtown Cincinnati. Obviously, there will be no Lombardi Trophy. There will be no parade. Just a long off season as Bengals fans reflect on what could have been. We're live in downtown Cincinnati. Mike Valenti, LEX 18 News.